Hi guys, it's Ender Drummer here with another helpful how-to video. Don't you hate it when you're minding your own business and you come home after a vacation and you put your flash drive or your memory card into your digital photo frame and the pictures all turned the wrong way and not in the correct orientation? Today I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. I've got my little uh, media card here, my SD card. This digital photo frame also takes a flash drive. It is the Polaroid PDF 750W. It's a 7 inch display screen, but there is a ton of these digital photo frames out there. And not just digital photo frames, tablets, smartphones. It's just really irritating when a picture that you've taken doesn't display the correct way. So I'm going to put this in here and show you what I'm talking about. And in a couple seconds, we'll see that is obviously not the correct orientation that picture was taken in. So how do we correct that? You would think, oh, we'll just pop it in your computer, put the SD card in your computer, and just bring it up in Windows Photo Viewer and, and rotate it to the right. No, that, that doesn't work. That actually does nothing. Well, it doesn't do nothing. The only thing that does is tell Windows, hey, when the user looks at this photo, flip it to this direction. But it doesn't actually change any of the data. There's a whole underworld to this stuff that is actually kind of confusing and disgusting and... Uh, something that I figured I need to make a video about. I notice I tend to make videos, tech videos and how-to videos based on how much information, how much information is easily accessible on that subject. And this one definitely fits the bill because uh, I've been, I must have visited 12 different websites and just, you know, two hours of reading, just educated myself on EXIF data. It's kind of scary. So anyways, let's go over to the computer. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So first things first, let's read what EXIF data is, or EXIF from Wikipedia. It's not very fun, so we're just going to do it for a second. Exchangeable image file format, officially EXIF, according to JADA, JITA, and SIPA specifications, is a standard that specifies the formats for images and sound and at their ancillary tags used by digital cameras, smartphones, scanners, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's metadata for your images and other things, but today we're talking about EXIF data concerning specifically photographs and images. So the problem with your picture not being displayed correctly lies within the EXIF data of each picture. Again, it's just extra data or metadata. Uh, kind of a cool thing, The uh, kind of scary too, there's even some GPS data can be associated with your pictures that you take with your phone. Your smartphone if you've got your GPS turned on and then uh, anybody who gets a hold of that photograph or that image and has an EXIF data reader they can pretty much see where you were when you took that picture uh, people have said before posting pictures of your kids on Facebook you know some freak out there could get that picture and get the information just be careful with your the pictures you post in your social media or get yourself an EXIF data editor and remove all that information that's probably the safest thing or just don't post photos of your kids uh, I'm sure most people wouldn't have a problem if half of America stopped posting photos of their children anyways that's a little off the subject so we need an XF data editor program uh, the one I use is just called quick XF editor I'll include the link in the description so you can go get it as well I'll also include a couple other links that will kind of explain what exactly EXIF data is and how the orientation of the photos works. Okay, so here's my quick EXIF editor program. All I did was pull in some photos here from this folder that has all these different vacation pictures. Click on this middle bar here and it will open up all your available options for different EXIF variables and there's a ton as you can see so we want orientation scroll down here to orientation and it'll show you the value is six that's what i labeled the images as was six so the value is six so how does six look well windows calls six rotate 270 degrees now that's correct now this picture here doesn't show rotated 270 degrees because like I was saying, in Windows, when you double click on it, open it with Photo Viewer or Paint or whatever, when you go to turn it, you can put this photo however you want. And that's, that, that is not going to transfer 
to your digital photo frame or your smartphone or your tablet or whatever you're trying to view the image on. It's only going to look that way while you're using Windows. So right now I have this folder grouped by orientation. To do that, you just right click in a folder, group by, go down to more, because the option won't be there, and scroll down to O and choose orientation. That way you can group all your photos by orientation. Just flipping this in Windows Photo Viewer is not changing any EXIF data for, for any other device besides your computer. So the values 1 through 8 represent the following descriptions. I got this from a website. I'm going to include the link below. So here's an easy way to understand it. Here's the vacation photo that I've been working with. The top here is row 0. The left side is column 0. Let's look at the eight possible values. EXIF orientation value 1. Row 0 is top. Column 0 is left side. That is correct. Number 2 has an asterisk by it, which means it is a funky flipped version. Get funky with it. Row 0 is top. Okay, that's correct. But column 0 is now the right side. So this column here is now the right side. To do that, come down and look at the definitions we built. 2 is uncommon. We know that. It's flipped horizontally. That's it. Just flip it horizontally. So hit rotate and paint. Flip horizontally. Now let's check and see if that's correct. Number two, row zero is top. The words are turned around, but row zero is still the top. And column zero is the right side. So we know column zero in default mode is the left side. So column zero is now on the right side. That is correct. That is correct. Number three, row zero is the bottom. Okay, how do we get this to the bottom? Well, let's flip it vertically. Row zero is the bottom. Okay, that's correct. And column zero is the right side. Well, column zero here is on the left side. So we flipped it vertically to get row zero on the bottom. Now we need to get the column to the right side. Let's flip it horizontally. There we go. Row zero is bottom. Column zero is right side. That is correct. Our definition says rotated right 180 degrees. That's an easier way to determine it. Here's the standard picture. Rotate it 180 degrees. And then check. Number three, row zero is bottom. Column zero is right side. Yep. So an easy way to define EXIF orientation value data number three is to just say it's rotated 180 degrees to the right. Yeah, simple. It's so simple. Okay, number four. This is another flipped one. Row zero is bottom. Column zero is left side. So what do we write down for our easy to understand definitions? It's just flipped vertically. That's all it is. Number four is just flipped vertically flip it vertically. Row 0 is now at the bottom and column 0 is on the left side. Column 0 is always on the left side. So all we have to do is flip it vertically. That one is simple as well. Number 5, also a flipped version. Row 0 is left side so this needs to be turned left 90 degrees to get row 0 on the left side. Rotate it left 90 degrees. Okay, that's correct. And then column 0 is the top. Right now, column 0 is at the bottom. Let's flip it vertically. Now we have row 0 on the left side, column 0 at the top. An easy way to write this, or say this, would be x of value data 5 is rotated left 90 degrees and then flipped vertically. Bam. Bam! Bam! Stick with me, guys. You're doing great. Number 6. Row 0 is right side, and column 0 is top. So get row 0 to the right. Well, let's rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Row 0 is on the right side, and column 0 is at the top. That's it. So number 6, an easy way to say that or define that is just it's rotated to the right 90 degrees. That's another easy one. Now for the last tricky one, number 7, the last flipped one. Row 0 is on the right side. We know how to do that. Rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Column 0 is on the bottom. Again, 
It's a two-step process for this one. We've got to flip it vertically. Row 0 is on the right side. Column 0 is at the bottom. An easy way to define this one is just rotate right 90 degrees, flip vertically. Kind of like number 5, but number 5 was rotate left 90 degrees, flip vertically. Enough! Do you want my head to explode? And finally, the last one, number 8. Exif value data 8 is simple. Row 0 is left side. Column 0 is bottom. We simply rotate to the left 90 degrees. Row 0 is left side. Column 0 is bottom. An easy way to say that, rotate left 90 degrees. Now, if your head has not exploded yet, you are familiar with all the possible EXIF orientation values and what they actually mean. So, like I said, the link is below. All you have to do is get any kind of EXIF editor, import your pictures, and then open the orientation tag, EXIF tag, and set the value. So, right now, this picture has a value of 6, but we can set it to whatever we want, 1 through 8. And we know the positions because we have them written down here. I'll include this in the description so that you'll be able to just reference it. But eventually, you'll just, you'll just understand what numbers mean which position. What happens if you set the value to higher than 8 or lower than 1? Windows simply refers to that as unspecified, which means your device, whatever you're displaying it on, is going to use its default display EXIF data to display the photo. So again, if either there is no EXIF orientation data or the data value is less than 1 or greater than 8, it may be displayed incorrectly. That's why knowing a little bit about EXIF data is a good thing, even though it's a little confusing and difficult to understand. So knowing this, we should be able to go over to my Polaroid digital photo frame and display the pictures from my vacation correctly, right? So, standard or default is one. So we need to set a couple of photos. Let's take these ones that say eight. Open the EXIF data editor. Bring in photos. Let's bring in these two photos. Set to three. We can look, they're set to three, and we can change them to one. Then you'd hit add to queue and then commit changes. I already did that. All right, so grab the two photos that we set to one with our EXIF editor program, paste them on your flash drive via USB or Dropbox or Wi-Fi, send them to your device. For me, I'm putting them onto an SD card Let's go over to the digital photo frame and see if the pictures are now displayed correctly. Using EXIF value data 1, can I look at my vacation photographs? Yay! There they are. That's how they're supposed to look. They are displayed correctly. We can see that's row 0 and column 0 on the left. Row 0 at the top, column 0 at the left just like I was showing you in the paint program. So now you know a little bit about how to edit EXIF value data. And you know a little bit about what the orientation values mean, one through eight. And finally, there's a neat little program I located called JPEG Auto Rotate. It's also free, just like Quick EXIF Editor. And it just adds an option on your contextual menu when you right click on a folder that allows you to auto rotate all JPEGs in a folder. And all it does is use command prompt to set their EXIF value data to 1, which is, of course, the standard default row 0 on top, column 0 on left. And it's kind of neat. It's quick. If you've got a folder full of images that are all turned all kinds of crazy ways, you can just use JPEG auto-rotate, right-click, and auto-rotate all JPEGs in folder. It'll change the EXIF value data to all images in that folder to 1. So why can't you just set all your images to EXIF orientation value data 1? Well, you could, and that will probably fix the majority of your problem. But knowing what each value means is going to give you more control over displaying your images correctly. For example, you might have a picture that is in a portrait orientation that you want displayed 
as landscape. And vice versa, you might have a landscape orientated photo that you want displayed as portrait. Or you may want to invert a picture, horizontally flip it, or vertically flip it. You'll know how to do that now with the knowledge you have about EXIF orientation value data. So just knowing the values 1 through 8 and what they really mean is going to help you in the long run to display your images the exact way that you want to display them. Hopefully this has helped you out and you understand a little bit more about what EXIF data is and that every photo you take of your you know, Starbucks Frappuccino or your plate of food or your friends or whatever, it all has information stored in that photograph. And different devices will use that information, that metadata, to display your photo correctly or incorrectly. And now you know how to fix it with a simple free program that you can get anywhere, some kind of EXIF data editor. You can not only read the data that's on there, you can also edit it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I helped you. If I have, please remember to like and subscribe. You've been hanging out with Underdrummer, the man who has never, ever, ever made a Minecraft video.